the sun is burning me. Okay, let's be honest. When you think of sunburns, you think of white people and light-skinned people getting burnt up by the sun. But in this video, I am going to answer the question, can dark-skinned people get sunburns? Keep watching and find out. So what is a sunburn? After a period of excess sun exposure, your skin eventually will burn and it will become inflamed and turn red and irritated. So obviously when we're talking about redness and inflamed skin, naturally you would think it will only happen in white people and lighter skinned people. They're the ones that are at greater risk of sunburn. But the truth is, not only white and light skinned people get sunburns. That's a lie. It's a myth. Dark skinned people can get sunburns too. So that's a fact. Although white people are six times more likely to get a sunburn, and of course the signs of a sunburn aren't usually obvious on darker skin tones because redness is not shown. But just because there's no redness seen on the surface does not mean there is no sunburn. The effects are skin deep. And I'll get to the signs and effects of sunburn shortly. So why are black people less prone to sunburn? That's the question. And the answer to that is none other than melanin. So melanin is that magical brown pigment found in the epidermis of the skin and it is produced by special cells called melanocytes. So when the skin is exposed to sunlight, more melanin is produced and that leads to tanning. So melanin is acting as a natural sunblock against ultraviolet rays. So therefore the darker your skin is, the more melanin you have, the more melanin you would produce and therefore you would get that natural protection from the UV rays. However, melanin protection is not foolproof. Melanin will not protect the skin against 100% of UV light rays. So the sun rays can still cause some damage to darker skin even though it's less noticeable than in lighter skin tones. So what really happens to the skin after a sunburn? So let's look at the signs and symptoms of a sunburn. Now, these are just the body's way of attempting to repair cells damaged from UV rays. You have an inflammatory response occurring, causing the blood to rush to the surface to pretty much deal with the damage cause. So this results in red or pink skin. And as I said before, this would obviously be only seen and be noticeable in lighter skin tones. But everyone would experience burning, painful skin, swelling. You may have fluid filled blisters developing on the skin. And if it gets really bad, you can experience flu like symptoms, weakness, fever, headache. So that is really severe cases. Now, itching and peeling of the skin would occur like days after when the skin is now trying to heal. So these are the common signs and symptoms of the sunburn. But it's essential to know that repeated exposure to the sun and regular sunburns are dangerous to the health of your skin. Because sunburns can cause damage to the DNA in your epidermal skin cells. So the UV light alters healthy DNA, disrupting the normal arrangement of the strands, therefore leading to mutation. So you have um, a mutated DNA in the cells. And this can lead to premature aging over time. So that mutated DNA can lead to reduced skin elasticity, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation. So when you have that dark areas appearing on the skin. And then the worst, the worst effect would be malignant melanoma. This is the most dangerous skin cancer and can result in dark moles expanding in size over time due to the buildup of the mutated cells. So essentially that is what a cancer is. When you have the mutated cells multiplying, replicating themselves and getting more and more, that is what causes the malignant melanoma. So this is when it gets really, really bad. So what are some of the home remedies for sunburn relief? To soothe skin and speed up the healing process, it's good to take a cool shower, use cold com compresses on the skin, apply any of the following treatments, aloe vera gel, milk of magnesia, that works for sure, calamine lotion. So these are easy remedies that you can use at home. So you need to protect yourself. It's important that you cover your skin up. If you're going to be outdoors, wear broad rim hats, wear sunglasses to protect your eyes. 
apply broad spectrum sunscreen lotion sprays absorb uv rays and especially make sure that you get a sun protection factor of 30 and up and find some cover in a shaded place for example a tree a tent the main thing is to cover up your skin and protect it from the uv light because you can actually get sunburn within 15 minutes of sun exposure you know it sounds kind of crazy but it's the truth so in terms of applying sunscreen it's important to actually make sure you apply your sunscreen at least 30 minutes before sun exposure and when you're in the sun for long periods of time ensure that you apply your sunscreen reapply every two hours more often if you are sweating a lot or you know going into the sea the water that can wash away the sunscreen so the key thing is to protect yourself to cover up your skin so even if your skin is beautifully concentrated with the magical pigment melanin be careful in the sun and just use sunscreen if you found this video helpful feel free to subscribe like and share and don't forget to hit that notification bell